What's up everybody, Nick O'Dwyer, back for the 10th inning, here with another episode of this day in sports history. In yesterday's episode, we saw Tennessee Titans running back Derrick Henry run for a franchise record 238 yards in a game against the Jaguars last season, as well as four touchdowns. We don't have anything quite like that today, but we do have a PGA Championship to talk about. We have an MLB Hall of Fame induction and a Heisman winner to get into. So if y'all enjoy this video, leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. This day in sports history. We'll start off today in 1929 with that PGA Championship, and defending champion Leo Deagle would defeat Johnny Farrell 6-4 in the final to win his second straight PGA Championship and his second and final major. Six years later, move over to the Canadian Football League, and at the Grey Cup, the Winnipeg Pedge, later to become the Blue Bombers, would defeat the Hamilton Tigers 18-12. Over to Major League Baseball now, and in 1937, the Boston Red Sox would acquire the contract of a little-named 19-year-old named Ted Williams. Safe to say this would work out for them, even though he didn't even report until 1939. Speaking of 1939, go to that year, and Lou Gehrig would be unanimously elected to the Hall of Fame, the only choice in 1939, and the five-year waiting period would be waived for the Iron Horse. From baseball, right back to the Grey Cup in 1940, Ottawa would defeat the Toronto Balmy Beach by a score of 12-5. Move over to the Olympics now in 1956. Started in swimming and Australian Murray Rose would claim his third gold medal at the Melbourne Games when he would win the 1500 meter in 17 minutes, 58.9 seconds, giving him the 1500, the 400, and the 4x200. Move over to diving now in those games, and American Pat McCormick would wrap up the women's double, already winning the 3-meter springboard, this time winning the 10-meter platform gold with 84.85 points. Finally in those games, in gymnastics, Soviet Larissa Lazanina would win the gold medal to win a total of 4 at the Melbourne Olympics. Move up now all the way to 1975, and in tennis, Ily Nastase would win his fourth season-ending ATP Masters Grand Prix with a 6-2, 6-2, 6-1 route of Bjorn Borg in the finals. Move over to Team Tennis now in 1980, and Czechoslovakia would defeat Italy 4-1, and this would be their only Davis Cup in their country's history. Stay in 1980, go to the PGA Seniors Championship, and Arnold Palmer at one over would win with a birdie on the first playoff hole against Paul Harney. Five years later in 1985, we have the Heisman Trophy Award. This time it would go to running back Bo Jackson out of Auburn University. On the season, Jackson, 1,786 yards, 17 touchdowns, and this was a very close voting. Jackson, 1,509 second place, 1,464. But we stay in 1985, this time go to women's tennis though in the Australian Open, and Martina Navratilova would defeat Chris Everett 6-2, 4-6, 6-2 to win her third and final Australian Open. We start getting into the championship games now, and we will start in 1996 at the SEC Championship, and the Florida Gators would defeat the Crimson Tide of Alabama 45-30. Then at the Big 12 Championship in the same year, Texas would defeat number 3 Nebraska in an upset 37-27. to Move to 2002 now, go back to the SEC Championship game, and number 4 Georgia would defeat number 22 Arkansas 30-3. One year later, we get into the final championship games of the day. We will start off in the SEC Championship, and number 3 Auburn would defeat number 5 Missouri 59-42. Then at the ACC Championship game, number 1 Florida State would defeat number 20 Duke 45-7. to And we will end today's video off in 2017 in the world of football, and the Ballon d'Or would be awarded to Real Madrid forward Cristiano Ronaldo, who would tie Lionel Messi at the time win his fifth Ballon d'Or. This would also be Ronaldo's second straight award. So that's what happened on this day in sports history. If I left anything out, I do apologize, but I'll see everybody tomorrow for Nick or Dwyer in the 10th inning.